Hello everyone, my name is Anubhav Khetri and today I am going to show you how to do brute force on a login page using burp suit. So I am on Parrot OS and I am using burp suit community, the default one which comes pre-installed in this uh, operating system. So right now I am on this brute force page out here, you see like if I give any credentials something like this, if it's not the wrong one, it will like right one, it will give me error something like this. So that's what we're gonna be brute forcing out here. So to brute force using burp suit, you need to set up a proxy as this is my burp suit out here. You go to proxy settings and go to option. You can see that burp suit listens on this IP address and this port number. It listens on localhost 127.0.0.1 and at port 8080. So you need to do the same setup on your browser also in Firefox. Go to preference, scroll down to the bottom, settings manual proxy set it to 127.0.0.1 set the uh, set the port 8080 uh, you can check this option if you want to or you can leave as it is click ok the proxies uh, proxy setup is done so what will happen right now that as soon as I give any suppose wrong credential I am giving out here 12345 as the password and as soon as I click login out here, this request will be intercepted by burp suit out here, you see. There's a request. Now I have the option where I can manipulate it, I can forward the request or I can drop a request. Since we're gonna be doing brute forcing, so I'll do right click anywhere on this white screen. Click send to intruder. So you see your intruder tab got highlighted. Go to position. Okay, out here you see the different parameters are highlighted with a symbol and you see this kind of a green color marking. So clear everything out. Now our main target is the username field. Select this uh, username area, username parameter and click add. Same for the password area also and add. So these are the two parameters that we will be brute forcing. Now there are different attack types uh, available out here like sniper mode, battering ram, pitchfork and cluster bomb so I'll just give us no, a short description about what uh, these things does sniper like if you select the sniper mode that means whatever payloads that you provide or whatever words uh, that you provide each and every word will be tried for each and every parameter so if I, pr if I provide 5 words, 5 words will be tried for username and then 5 words will be tried for uh, password like total number of uh, requests sent will be 10 you can see like if I go to payloads right you can start adding your list of words which you want to choose like suppose I write test test 1 test 2 test 3 like this see payload count 4 so total 4 payloads I gave but request count 8 4 for this one 4 for this one now we got battering ram Okay, what battering ram does is like if you're mentioning four payloads, so the four payload will be used for this both the places at once. So if I give payload as test, the first payload is test, so test will be used on username parameter also and password parameter also. Second is test one. Test one will be used for username and password both at once in those scenarios. Then we got pitchfork. So pitchfork is something like you need to provide two payloads. So I already have one payload. So I'm providing the second payload. So let's call second payload as ABC1, ABC2, ABC3. And you see, it is completely dependent uh, dependent upon the second payload which I'm giving, or obviously the first one. Okay, the number of payloads should be sa uh, same in both the sets. So if in the first set I'm choosing four payloads, so even in the second set, this they need to be four payloads so it is mainly in those cases like where you got some username and password like you got a username and password side by side right and then you need to use those username and password and see which one gets a hit so in those scenarios we use this page for both the username and password will be used at the same time one list will contain username one list will contain password then we got this last one cluster bomb which we gonna be using right now okay like I will choose some uh, like two or three username and I will choose like around five uh, passwords so for each username they will choose a list of passwords 
okay if that one hits good enough if not they will go for the second uh, username then they will try from there again that all those password lists this way it will do so you see in first list I got like uh, four uh, payloads in second list I got what three payloads so four into three twelve like this it works so I'm clearing everything out from the first list and the second list so my first payload position should contain username okay so I'll choose username as admin and just say root I'm not taking too many username and password just to save time it's gonna take a lot of time like if I try brute forcing each and everything and let's take just five password as a whole one two three four five will be one of the password maybe five four three two one oh then password maybe capital P at the rate SSW 0 RD this can also be the password and maybe ABC 1 2 3 okay so I got 1 2 3 4 5 6 oh I got 6 wait okay 5 passwords and 2 username total request send will be 10 so I start the attack they'll give you this like because since it's a community version obviously <coughs> so you see all the requests are sent but they wouldn't write it like this like this the right password wrong password but they will give the length based on the length you can choose like which one is the right password you see this is the odd one everyone is common everyone is having the same length except for this one so this is my right password see admin and password is the right username and password so this is a request sent and in response you can just scroll down and check on every brute force login username area welcome to the password protected area means it actually worked unable to render not an issue so I'll just confirm admin and password is the username and password they use so let me try out here I can do the intercept off okay admin and username as password login worked okay so this all for today stay tuned for more exciting videos then i'll be taking my leave